The Law and Renaissance. Dr. Shaddix, thanks for sharing your insight on such a trivial topic. I know this may be a very elementary question, but I'm a square one type of guy. Is there a nitrogen source that is superior to the others with regard to a home law fertility program, i.e. I. urea versus ammonium sulfate? Yeah, thanks, Salon Renaissance, for that question. I, I will say that <clears throat> superior is subject to the definition of whatever you're defining as superior. I mean, what I would say is my definition is the uh, amount of response to meet an acceptable level for the least amount of money. So if you have three, three nitrogen sources, as I've said before, I'm pretty confident that I can, re, I can apply those to turf grass and have that turf grass result in an acceptable color quality. I can, I can do that with any of those nitrogen sources, more than likely. They can meet an acceptable level of quality for, for you as a homeowner. The question, in the, but to me, it's not, that's not necessarily determining which one's superior. Which one's superior to me is which one can do that for the least amount of money and the least amount of environmental impact. And in most cases, it's going to be urea, okay? In some cases, particularly in cases of low sulfate so soils, which are becoming more and more common, it would be ammonium sulfate, okay? So in most cases, urea is going to be your option to go to. It's going to give you the most response. It's going to give you an acceptable response for the least amount of money. And you can talk about longevity and we're going to, if you please, as a, as a, as the, as the viewers in my audience, please don't <laughs> say something about, well, how long is it going to last? Just hold your horses. Okay. Just hold tight. <laughs> I'm going to show you exactly what that is because there's this misconception in the industry about, well, I got a 14 day, I got a 14 week product or I got a nine week product. I got, I got duration 90 or duration 45 or poly on 43. And those are going to last eight weeks or 10 weeks or 16 weeks or whatever. There's a misconception that just because those are labeled that way, that urea is inferior in terms of longevity of response. And I'm going to show you the best evidence we have of exactly how long those nitrogen sources will last. So please, I love my audience. Okay. Don't, don't come to me and say, well, I know you said that, Dr. Shaddix, but how long is urea? Urea is not going to last that long. What I would say is, I have evidence. <laughs> so before you go down that road, wait until I present my evidence. And then if you have evidence, i.e. published refereed papers, then we can talk. But if you, if, if you have the opinion, well, I've been doing this for 20, 30 years, and I see this and I see that, well, those are observations. And so be careful where you go with those observations. You can get off on the wrong, on the wrong path if you're not careful. But in general, I would say urea is your number one product to go to. Occasionally, ammonium sulfate will be needed. And if you want to go slow release, pretty strong evidence that the, the most superior slow release source is going to be sulfur-coated urea. And what I mean by that is it's going to give you the, the greatest magnitude of response for the cost to do that. It's going to give you the acceptable turf for the least amount of money compared to polymer coated ureas, compared to natural organics, compared to reacted ureas, compared to the U-flexes and the U-maxes and all these things. Okay, so if soluble, you want to stay with urea, occasionally ammonium sulfate, maybe even alternate them. It would be a, probably a good idea. And if you're dead set on having a slow release, which, you know, whatever, if you, if you must use a slow release, then sulfur-coated urea right now, the greatest evidence is, is that sulfur-coated urea is going to be the least expensive source.